front of us lies the Sylvania National College, the oldest school from Zalo and Salash County. We'll try to offer you some information about the buildings and the history of our high school. Over the years, this school has had many names and it was of great importance for the people from Zalo and Salaj. The high school can be found on the western part of the Uniri Square, right next to the County Museum of History, on the right, and near the bank. From the street, we can see the main building, three stories high, that was built at the beginning of the 20th century. It also has a little tower, which once contained a bell. Behind building A hides another building, building B, which was built in the middle of the 19th century and was extended repeatedly. Connected to it, there is the gym and in front of it, the sports field. Building C guards the school from the north and the school garden with other three sport fields from the northwest. The college was already active in 1646, as shown by the documents from the Reformed High School. We can find there the name of the rector and of the students that subscribed during that rectorate. This archive, found in Cluj, is an important source of information about the first students and rectors. The rector was a professor principal chosen by the administration of the college for three years. He was responsible with the organization, the school's activities, as well as with the students' discipline. The maintenance of the college was difficult, sometimes for the citizens, who were in a small number, and Zalo was a small town. It had 287 families in 1720s, and later on the number increased to more than 4,000 citizens in the year 1850. The college had another building right next to the Reformed Church. In 1679, the construction of another building was begun. Due to the rising number of students, the college was further extended. In 1764, they built another store on the existing building. The central area was bought in 1810, on which a one-story high building was built between 1816 and 1837, and also rooms for the principal. That is when the college moved to its current premises. Building B was set up between 1858-1861 and then extended in several stages. It served as a boarding school, then a banquet hall, and two more rooms were added. It is here that the library and a few computer labs carry out their work at present. The banquet hall was used to host festivities for the beginning and end of the school year, and sometimes it was designated for prayers as well as for other cultural and festive events. The boarding school building was extended and modernized in 1902-1903. In the projects from the annuary of the college in 1904, we can see that it had two levels. The hallway from building B was missing from the original plans, which was built when the west wing was extended up to the gym area. In the years before the First World War, it was also extended towards north, where the current ban banquet hall and the library were added. At the end of the 19th century, the old buildings became overcrowded. The principal, Kim Chigula, obtained the support of the Ministry of Education and Cults for the construction of another building. In the summer of 1902, the two-story high building was demolished and a new building with three stories was finished in 16 months. The designer of the building was the architect Baumgarten Schander, who designed over 300 schools and administrational buildings. The exterior decorations are in secessionist style and were developed by another architect, Chinar Oton. The building erected at the beginning of the 20th century was a reason of pride for the citizens of Zalo and Salash County, with a splendid facade with floral applications, sunflower, Christian and Protestant symbols, the rooster, St. Peter's animal. In Christian symbolism, the rooster represents faithfulness, vigilance, and appeals to piety. These colorful decorations were made in the secessionist style. This style is a German variant of Art Nouveau, which appeared in Europe at the end of the 19th century and the beginning of the 20th century. These colorful decorations were destroyed in 1967 during a renovation. Their beauty can be seen in the old photos. 
Only a few elements were saved, as we can see in the high school's monograph, published in 2010. The painted ceramic sunflower had 60 centimeters in diameter and the rooster painted and made from the same material had 60 per 90 centimeters. The other floral and animal decorations were not saved. In the imposing building, among classrooms and offices, libraries and labs, in the basement, a canteen for the teachers and students who were staying at the boarding school was set up. The classrooms are spacious and have proper natural light. It's a genuine school facility. For example, a room 15 was formerly a drawing room. The physics and chemistry labs kept the same role from the very beginning. The small courtyard between buildings A and B is an interior yard used for small festivities, whereas the large one was used as a sports field or for larger and more important outdoor events. The first gym was built at the end of the 19th century, which was later extended and renovated in 1941-1942, and more recently in 2005. The college has survived two wars and along with the educational reform that led to the closing of all confessional schools, the school was nationalized in August 1948 and turned into a state school with courses taught in Hungarian. In 1960, it was united with the Romanian school and since then, the teaching was done in both Romanian and Hungarian. For a period of time, the high school was named after a Hungarian poet, Adi Andre, which we are reminded of by the statue from the hall and the other statue found in front of the school. The successor thought it would be appropriate to make a statue of the poet's good friend, the Romanian poet Octavian Goga. Another well-known personality and student of this school was Julio Maniu. He appears in the document signed at 29 June in 1898, along with the other students promoted to higher classes. This signature is probably the first signature of Manius, born in 1873 at Shimleo Silvani in a Greek Catholic family. By signing that paper, the students agreed to obey the rules and the school's regulations. Manu was grateful to the school that formed him, and in May 1940, he sent a telegram to the college on the occasion of the anniversary of his graduation. Between the walls of the institution, for a long time, a sense of honor is seated in our souls, the liberty of thinking and speech, and the great ideals of love towards one's family, which were forever laid in my soul and which guide me like unbreakable torches. Yuliu Manu. In the image of Zalo in the years between the two world wars, on the right side we can see the college's buildings. Building A taller and further away, building B in the middle, and the building C. The view is from north or northwest, seen from behind. Building C, built in the last years of the 19th century, was a state school, a general one, and it was connected in the years of the seventh decade of the last century. At the tercentennial from 1946, a bas-relief was revealed and the modest anniversary album was edited. In 1962, the anniversary of 325 years of existence was celebrated with the unveiling of a commemorative plaque at the main entrance. More recently, in 1996, the 350 years anniversary was celebrated with the unveiling of another plaque on Building B. The school occupies a surface of 8439 square meters. This image shows all the school's buildings, A, B, and C, forming an L. There are 31 classrooms, 17 laboratories, a teacher's room, a library with a reading room, five offices, a medical cabinet, a psychological cabinet, a banquet hall, a museum, a multimedia cabinet, and so on. On the right, there is the gym with its darker colored roof. After our incursion in the buildings and history of the oldest and best known high school from Zalo and Selash County, we realized that in more than three and a half centuries, this institution was an educational atelon unit, not only for our country, but also for our region. During this period, the world has changed a lot. Regimes were removed. Wars and revolutions have taken place. This school has always served the arts and sciences.